Hey guys, Bondo. So this is what we're doing today. It's for my uncle. It's a 24 by 36 um, little pole barn. We're just prepping it up. Um, he's got some nice fine material in here, but it's really high. He wants to put a trench drain down the middle of here, guys. So I'll show you how we do that. Um, we're just getting things dressed off around the edge. You can see how high the, the inside is. We just start scratching back from the edge. We're gonna be to the bottom of that two by six skirt board. That's gonna be the um, the bottom of concrete. Top of concrete to be top of that skirt board. So we gotta take quite a bit of material out of here. And we also have to slope the subgrade down to the drain. So I'll show you how we do that because when you put a drain in, you wanna have some pitch from the outside into the middle of the drain. So that's what we're doing. We're taking these stairs apart so we don't have to deal with going around them. So there's some legs here we're gonna take off. We're gonna take that off. The carpenter that built this, he's really good. He uh, he was thinking ahead because he hung, he hung this platform from here so that we can uh, take these legs out because he's a concrete guy himself. Um, so he knows that was good, good thinking. So we can quick take these stairs off and not have to work around them so that'll be good that's what we're doing i gotta run to the store and get some uh pipe and the drain and stuff and then we'll be back at it stay tuned your old man on youtube mm -hmm. uncle bob on the skid steer <laughs> big biscuit and bigger biscuit <laughs> Who's the bigger biscuit though? <laughs> I think Jason's the bigger biscuit. I think we gotta get pretty deep right there in the middle, you know, to pan it out. Hey guys, Bondo here. Let me know what kind of um, equipment you use to level out your um, concrete pads and stuff for your prep. Do you use a skid steer like we used here my uncle had this skid steer to use a tractor we usually use a tractor but we got this mini bobcat thing here i bought last year that's handy to get in tight spaces let me know how you guys do it thanks hey uncle bob i'm gonna make you famous on youtube <laughs> you're gonna be famous <laughs> oh salmon country marina right here Put that right on YouTube today. This is my uncle's barn right here, Bob Blunt. He jumped right in to help us today. Look at that. Got my cousin Jimmy on the Bobcat now. He's gonna scrape her down. We didn't even need to bring Carl to Kubota today. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button for me and leave me a comment if you would. That'll help out my channel. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Check out my channel. And we're just going to be a part two to this video. Okay, guys, we're making a trench drain up here. So, this is the kind of drain we got. It's upside down right now. I'll show you the top in a minute. But we wire these all together. And they got an end cap on them. So, we end up with a lot of these end caps because we usually take them off and connect them. 
and then there's out you can there's downspouts right here and that'll fit a regular sewer and drain pipe like this if you put a street elbow on it so there's going to be a street elbow coming out of that thing into that pipe right there and we're going to angle that out there and then my uncle's going to take a drain to daylight once we get out there he can hook to that later and pop that out because he's on a hill here he can go down and pop that out to daylight and we're going to put this drain more centered towards the front of his building because this is where he parks so he parks here any snow or anything that comes off his vehicle will go into this drain and we're, we're shooting for an inch and a half pitch off the top of that <coughs> two by six so that's going to be a top of concrete we're shooting for an inch and a half pitch here pitched all directions to it and then the back of his barn is going to have a workbench and stuff up to these stairs that's going to be pretty much flat right there guys we're not going to um pitch that much until we get to about here right about here and then we're going to dive towards the drain so this whole subgrade has to be like a fishbowl to do this properly it's a lot of extra work but that's the way you do it you don't want to Put your gravel in here flat and then try to get an inch and a half pitch to your drain because you won't have much concrete in the middle of anything so that's what we're doing this is the trench drain guys right side up we wired it like i showed you wired it all together um we put we're gonna put caps on the end and uh we went around and painted where our drain's gonna be and then this is gonna be the exit line so my uncle actually has a, a trencher, so we're going to try to use that. It's a little dingo trencher, so we're going to just trench that with a dingo trencher and hand chuck it out of there. And we're going to run out the corner of his barn here, like I said earlier, right out here. And then he can just 45 it, and he's on a hill here, like I said. He can run it down and pop it out over here. He'll drain. He's on a quite a hill here, so that should work out good for him what we're doing right there getting underneath there here comes the dingo Whoop. jimmer running the dingo starting to rain a little bit ditch witch is that what it's called oh ditch, yeah ditch witch ditch witch i'll show you that little buggy in action if it works good we might have to borrow it from uncle bob he said it's here if we need it that might be the ticket for doing these trench drains. Check that little buggy out. That thing's pretty cool. Got like an articulating steering right there. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. I'm gonna steal that from you guys. <laughs> that thing is nice. That thing's nice. Can you hook other things up to that? Like hydraulic things? No? I'm surprised they don't have like a place you could hook up hydraulic things to it. Yeah, that thing's awesome. See how she works. No, I don't. My uncle's got one. <laughs> we like to trade things back and forth. I finally got stuff you can borrow though, right? It's been years I've been taking your shit. Finally I got some stuff you can take. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So my uncle bought this trencher at an auction, guys, and he got a real good deal on it. So uh, he said we could try this thing out. This thing worked awesome for doing this. We usually dig these out um, either by hand with a pick and shovel or Carl the Kubota. And, uh, you know, you end up with, if you dig it with Carl the Kubota, you end up with a big, wide ditch, obviously. So this thing made a nice, narrow ditch here. Um, didn't disturb the ground very much at all. And uh, he said we could use this whenever we wanted, so it's pretty cool. I'll probably borrow it again from him. I don't know yet. We got to get the drain set first. Look at that. That is nice. We just want to make sure we have a pitch coming out of it. Hey guys, that ditch witch worked awesome. Here's our ditch. 
and down through to where our drain is. So right now, we had to, we took the ditch switch and loosened this area up where the drain's gonna be. It was all real uh, rocky stuff. You can see the rocks and stuff in it. And we put a splash of uh, better material in there with the dingle. So now we're gonna tamp that area where the drain sits right here. We're gonna tamp all that and make it really good to set our drain on a nice space for our drain. So guys, when you put the street elbow into these trench drains, it, it makes the bell uh, the wrong direction on the pipe, on your exit pipe. So we just cut the bell off the second pipe and we glued everything so it shouldn't leak. Okay guys, so this is a street elbow. That being, it's got a male on one side and a female on the other. And that slips right in there. As you can see, you can put a three inch or a four inch. That goes right in there like that. And there's a knockout in there you can take out. Hey Jay, you wanna take that knockout out of there? It's inside that. You gotta make sure you take this knockout out of there. It's not gonna drain. Driver, Hit it with that hammer. Just whack it. It'll pop right out of there. Nope. We got it. Yeah, slide that back. Slide right out the end of the pipe. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it, and then that fits right in there, like I showed you. Just like that. And then we're digging down where it exits. You got to get the ditch pretty deep, and we like to pitch the ditch too, so the pipe's pitching all the way. Doesn't need to be a lot, but it's enough. Okay, guys, this is what we're doing. We got the grate nice and level, the trench drain here. It's got a, just a slight pitch to that drain, but 3 16 from this end to that end. Then she hits that pipe. Nice, nice pitch going out there. That trencher worked really good. And we popped out here and that's where my uncle's gonna take it and he's gonna run out down the hill like i said so that's how we do a trench drain guys it's quite a bit of work but that's that's the way to do it everything's pitching from the like i said from the top of the two by six we got an inch and a half pitch to there so we're gonna re fishbowl everything in here we're gonna take a 16 foot screed and we're gonna run it across and set it on the drain and then we're going to rake everything so that we end up with an even amount of concrete underneath that thing that's how we do these we do them all the time got any questions hit me up <laughs> okay guys so we got a 16 foot screen and we're set it on the drain and we set it on the top of the skirt board so tuna just move it along this way and what we're doing is just getting our gauge here guys hold on right out there, set it right there. You went too far, go back that way a little bit. Yep. We'll see how we're doing this, guys, and then we're gonna measure underneath the stick to see where we're at. Five inches. Five inches, we want five and a half, so we're just gonna see how we're stealing material and pulling it this way. That's what we're doing. You gotta come along. We're just, dig. take this for a second. Behind me. Thanks. 
This is the right way to do a trench drain, not the good enough way. So guys, let me know if this is how you do trench drains. Um, you know, is it worth the extra work? In my opinion, yes. If it's my shop, I want it. This needs to be full What are you doing, biscuit? Dropping your tool. Dropping his tool. It's a bad day when you drop your tool, big tuna. No. <laughs> you kidding me? Just give her a little. That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Do I miss the plant? So nope. Cool. Oh, come on. You missed it. No. But you're asking if I missed the crushing company. Miss what? That crushing company. Oh, yeah. That was a great job. guys that's how we do a trench drain so i just wanted to show you how we do it i got another video on doing this but i just wanted to put this together it's a lot of work so if you're going to do this for a customer you should charge about 800 to a thousand dollars to do this in my opinion okay guys we got it ready for tomorrow we got them all set got our pitch in we got our drain all taped we taped them drains with zip tape that's the only thing that really stays together when you're pouring it doesn't pull off and that's what she looks like everything's pitched to the drain inch and a half top of skirt board top of drain the back area is about here back is pretty flat and then dives to the drain and dives up and dives up there same thing all the way to the front and it'll pitch down here like that that's how we do it right big biscuit mm -hmm. big tuna that's right we got her done and we will be here in the morning to pour some concrete and i will get that on video too so stay tuned <laughs> 